Well, hello. Happy Sunday to everybody. Hope this stream finds you in good health and in good spirits. As we continue with Mass Effect. Tonight, we have two jobs. One is to find and scan the rest of the keepers. There are six left. And the other is to expose Saren. That'll open up the rest of the game to us because we'll have a ship. Uh, anything other than that is bonus. And we'll get as far as we can until um, till the end of the stream. And then Tuesday night we will be starting Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Got the Ultimate Edition, so we're going to be uh, starting that up a few days before it drops. I guess by the time I get to it, it'll be a couple of days before it drops, but it's still early. So, um, so there you go. Let's go ahead and get started. We already have some stuff to look at. We got some points. We all have four points. Uh... Increases squad healing. Increases the strength of your shields. The amount of hull restored when you repair vehicles. Let you use electronic skill to repair or bypass objects. Yeah, let's get us a couple of those. Go with a couple more of those. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have a few more of these to do. Pharos is a habitable... Novaria... Fer Novaria is a cool, rocky world with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. A privately chartered colony world, the planet is owned by the Novaria Development Corporation Holding Company. The end... The term... Sorry, Novaria is a cool, rocky world with most of its Wrong hydrosphere stick. locked up in massive glaciers. A privately chartered colony world, the planet is owned by the Novaria Development Corporation Holding Company. The NDC is funded by investment capital from two dozen high technology development firms and administrated by an executive board representing their interests. The investors built remote hot labs in isolated locations across Novaria's surface. These facilities are used for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere, as Novaria is technically not part of Citadel space and therefore exempt from Council law. By special arrangement, Citadel's special tactics and reconnaissance agents have been granted extraterritorial privileges, but it remains to be seen how committed the executive board is to that principle. Given its unique situation, it is understandable that Novaria is often implicated in all manner of wild conspiracy theories. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark and... An artificial intelligence is a self-aware computing system capable of learning and independent decision-making. Creation of a conscious AI requires adaptive code, a slow, expensive education, and a specialized quantum computer called a blue box. An AI cannot be transmitted across a communication channel or computer network. Without its blue box, an AI is no more than data files. Loading these files into a new blue box will create a new personality, as variations in the quantum hardware and runtime results create unpredictable variations. 
The Geth serve as a cautionary tale against the dangers of rogue AI. And in Citadel space, they are technically illegal. Advocacy groups argue, however, that an AI is a living, conscious <laughs> entity, deserving the same rights as organics. They argue that continued use of the term artificial is institutionalized racism on the part of organic life. The term synthetic is considered the politically correct alternative. A virtual intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. VIs use a variety of methods to simulate natural conversation, including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, they are not self-aware, nor can they learn or take independent action. VIs are used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user-requested data. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities are available at any software retailer. Boutique firms and hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. Although software emulation of living personalities is illegal, reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. Mass relays are feats of Prothean engineering advanced far beyond the technology of any living species. They are enormous structures scattered throughout the stars and can create corridors of virtually mass-free space, allowing instantaneous transit between locations separated by years or even centuries of travel using conventional FTL drives. Primary mass relays can propel ships thousands of light years, often from one spiral arm of the galaxy to another. However, they have fixed one-to-one -one connections a primary relay connects to one other primary relay and nowhere else. Secondary relays can only propel ships across a few hundred light years. However, they are omnidirectional. A secondary relay can send a ship to any other relay within its limited range. There are many dormant primary relays whose corresponding twins have not yet been located. These are left inactive until their partner is charted as established civilizations are unwilling to blindly open a passage that might connect them to a hostile species. Combat heart, kinetic, all modern infantry weapons from pistols to assault rifles use micro-scaled mass accelerator technology. Projectiles consist of tiny metal slugs suspended within a mass reducing field, accelerated by magnetic force to speeds that inflict kinetic damage. The ammo magazine is a simple block of metal. The gun's internal computer calculates the mass needed to reach the target based on distance, gravity, and atmospheric pressure, then shears off an appropriate sized slug from the block. A single block can supply thousands of rounds, making ammo a non-issue during any engagement. Top-line weapons also feature smart targeting that allows them to correct for weather and environment. Firing a target in a howling gale feels the same as it does on a calm day at the practice range. Smart targeting does not mean a bullet will automatically find the mark every time the trigger is pulled. It only makes it easier for the marksman to aim. All right. I have a save. Okay, and we are at CSEC headquarters, CSEC Academy, right? Yeah. So, we need to go to the tower. <clears throat> and we need to find these other watchers. So let's go looking around. Uh, 
That just goes back up there. Where does this go? <coughs> Sorry. This goes to the lower wards. We don't want to go to the lower wards just yet. This just comes to the requisition office, but there is a scan. Okay, we have five left to find on those. We don't want to hit the requisition officer yet. This goes to the docking bay. Okay, we don't want to go to the docking bay yet either. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. Okay. Where have we not been? We've been to the consort chambers, emporium. We've been all through there. I'm guessing we haven't been all the way through the wards yet. We've been through all of this area. Okay. Been across that bridge. Go down into the wards and make sure we've seen everything down there. Guess I could have hit the lower wards from uh, CSEC Academy. Entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions.
Okay. Pretty sure we already got that one, but we'll look anyway. Yep. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack on Eden Prime. Udina reportedly based his accusation upon eyewitness accounts of the scene, but lacked the evidence to demand further investigation. When asked to comment, a council spokesperson would only state that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. We already got this one. That's not a door that we can open. What is over there? Just make sure we don't have anything else in here. Nope. The doctor, which we don't need to talk to again. Goes to CSEC. Um, let's just run down here and see. Aha. New item for the codex. Another scan for the keepers. Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at a coos. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is, police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens, like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. 
What do you know about specters? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. <laughs> Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Oh, and here's a door. Where does this lead? That g actually goes to CSEC Academy. Well, we can run down here and see. We can always come back. See where this spits us out. That's not what I want. Oh, it's the elevator. No, no, no. Okay. Well, we did find another another keeper down here. So that was good. Hmm. Okay. Pretty sure I got this one too, but yeah, I did. lower markets That's going to lead us into uh, Cora's Den. Upper Ward, CSAC. Upper Markets, Upper Wards. Wait. We just came through there. Let's go through Cora's Den real quick. See if we can't unlock some of the stuff we failed to unlock before. Probably not. Yep, this is locked now. Oh, no, it's not. Excellent. Okay. Okay. How much Omni Gel do we have now? 
42. All right, we'll check out the weapons later. And that's not a door that can be opened. What is that noise? Armor piercing rounds, okay. It just won't, if, even if you come back later, it won't let you uh, try and decrypt it again. You still have to use the Omnigel on it. Oh well. Parkin still won't talk. Sad. Okay. I did not see a keeper anywhere in here. Can't get up there. Come on, Tally. Get out of the way. Okay. Up the stairs. We've been in here before. Fighting. But I don't recall looking around. Although I think I did get this keeper. To the Presidium. This takes us right back out here. So I think we've covered everywhere here here in the wards. So we're gonna need to go back out. We have some more exploring to do in the Presidium, I guess. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. <clears throat> In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Well, Abby can't be at all of them. Hmm. 
Okay. Let all races herald the glory of the accuser, who raised them all to enlightenment. Where there was only darkness, the enkindler. I know we grabbed this one. Positive of it. That takes us to Citadel Tower. We don't want to do that just yet. Because. Uh, right here. 18, 19, 20, 21. We have four left. Four of them left. I thought we already got the ones in the tower. Hmm, hmm what? What are you humming about? been up in here but we'll just uh, see if maybe there's a door or something that we missed there's that keeper that we got while we were up here nope Like we already got this one. got this one. This leads us down there you know I don't recall seeing a keeper in here but we'll just look around again and see up and up there is her quarters I don't recall seeing one up here but We can't even open that door anymore. Okay, so if they're going to shut a door on us and not let us back in, I wouldn't think there'd be a keeper in it. So we're going to assume that's a, a dry well. Don't need to talk to you again. Let's go up the stairs over here because there's no way to progress any further over here, right? Nope. 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. Already been there. Guess there's no way to go up there. Where have we not been? C-Sec Academy is downstairs. Four left. Okay, we're going to check out this area one more time. And then if we don't get it, we'll just go to the tower. Thinking we got, oh, we missed him every time we've come in here. Three left. See, this is why you double look. I don't guess there's a way to go out. No, okay. Can't go in there. So that's the, uh, that's all this. Guess we'll go back out. Pretty sure I got this one. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. 
Okay, yeah, I got him already. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Okay. Shepard, what can I do for you now? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. You're still useless. Okay. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Okay. And I'm... Um, there was one. Yeah, I think I got him too. Yep. Okay. Three left to find. But I think we've been all over the Presidium. I can't think of a single other place we could go. We've been all over this. We've been all over this. We've been all over the wards. I mean, I thought that we looked over CSEC Academy thoroughly. That's where we just were. So we can try the academy once more. And then we'll head to the tower and maybe the last three are in the tower somewhere. This time the we'll go down to the docks. The entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Ooh. All right, you two, just get along. I don't want a ruckus breaking out right here in the elevator. Okay. Now, when we were here before, we went to the right and we went through all this. And the requisition office didn't have anything, but we didn't, however, go to the docks. All right, 
Let's just make sure that we got everything from here. You'd think there'd be more of those things here in CSEC. Mm. Okay, just a quick once through. I don't see a watcher here. Really pretty tree. A lounge. What's this guy here? Hello, Commander. Oh, okay. That was awesome. Okay, nothing here. It was one of our missions. <clears throat> Yeah, and I think I got this one. No, I didn't. Two left. Glad I came back in here. I could have swore I got him. That must have been when the save messed us up. Codex. Yeah, because I know I got these codexes, so that save situation messed us up. Plenty of codex. Got that other keeper. All right. Now, just to be sure, we have two left. Two keepers left to find. And then it'll be on to the tower. That goes to the lower wards. This goes to the dock. And see, we did get this one. I don't need to see this guy yet. Let's go down to the docks and see if there's a couple there. Your choice in armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. So your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. Yeah, they could settle, they just would have to wear the masks. Although, I guess on the flotilla, they don't have to wear the masks. Huh. All right. All right, here we go. The docking bay. Huh, what? There's the Normandy, which we can't get on yet. And here's a keeper. He's got a weird looking backpack. All right. One keeper left. One keeper left. Okay. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate.
Alright. Well, that pretty much covers CSEC Academy. I think I went down this, uh, this corridor here, but we'll see. You seem to be attracting unwanted attention, Tally. Several passerbys were staring at you. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. It is natural for people to dislike rootless wanderers. If Quarians would just settle another homeworld, we would not run into such concerns. Why Garrus is just full of opinions today. All right. I've already gotten this one. Yep. Okay. And I've already been through the wards, so I'm thinking that the last two... I'm thinking that the last two are going to be at the Citadel Tower. Is there a rapid transit? We might try one of those. There's one. Try it out. Okay. Brings us right to it. Except I'm not sure where the starting point was. That's the council chambers up there. You're not actually doing anything. There's got to be two more watchers somewhere. Here's one. I thought that I had not, I thought I had two left. And I'm not complaining. No, the fan, strange transmission. So, hey, perfect. Let's go expose, uh, let's go expose Saren. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. 
The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. <clears throat> a convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. <clears throat> it is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectre not chained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard.
All right. Got four more points. The lead agents of the Council, Spectres have access to special training available else any unavailable elsewhere in the galaxy, increases health, accuracy, effectiveness, attacks, and powers, grants unity ability. Well, let's just go ahead and do those. Uh, her machinist is maxed out. Shotguns unlocked. First aid unlocked. Increases damage done by your next sniper rifle shot. Okay. All right. Let's see about our equipment now. <sighs> oh. We have a Hurricane 2 shotgun. Stinger pistol. It's the only pistol we got. A couple of those. Already got my upgrades to it. Okay. I don't think we got any more um, upgrades. Right. Okay. We'll give her a better one. No upgrades. We'll give her the hammer too. No upgrades. Corian armor. She can't use Krogan armor. Okay, we'll give her the Banshee too. And there you go. He's looking good. I swore I got some more weapons. Could have swore we picked up some more weapons. Three of them, to be exact. And they were level twos. Maybe I already have them equipped. Grab a save. Oops. Okay. So the fan. Uh, he's. He said next time I'm on Earth, he'd buy me a drink. So I mean, I. I have to wait till I go to Earth. Strange transmissions. I need a ship. And unusual readings. I need a ship. Now I just need to speak to the ambassador in the docking bay. All right. Okay. 
There is this guy. No. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Okay, so now we have the journal. Go to the Sparta system in Artemis Tau cluster and look for the recon team. Okay. Oops. Okay. Look at the map. Uh, to the Presidium. That's it. Yeah, so we're headed in the right direction. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Okay, so we got a little more Paragon. The strenuous system. There's another side mission. Okay. Oops.
In other news, ExogeniCorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off <coughs> last week, company officials refused to comment. Oops, I needed to go down. Hey, Missy. <laughs> Still doing that, huh? <laughs> Did you get you a good nap? A Feeling better? The excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. Mm. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Thought we fixed that. So we found all the, uh, can't believe I forgot to do the giveaway. Ah, uh, you'll get it next time. It'll be all right. Everybody understands. Um, this goes to the dock. Uh, we found all the keepers, scanned them all, and uh, we're done with everything. Picked up a few more side missions that are off uh, off the Citadel. We're about to, uh, we be, uh, became a Spectre. We're on our way Binary to see the Ambassador. Binary has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Seems like uh, that's the door. Maybe not. She was facing the right way anyway. Oh, here we go. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Hmm. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone. Oh, you're off tomorrow. Nice. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. Why didn't you ever mention this? What was I supposed to say? I could have been a Spectre, but I blew it? I failed, Commander. 
It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he oh, made okay. sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. I guess it takes a while to recover from that. So... I'm trying to figure out how to... So, now that uh, now that you've beat it back, does the cancer cancer does the chemo still affect you the same way, or I mean, does it does it depend on how how ill you are to begin with, or how does that work? I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. Mm. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse, looking for clues. Wow. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist... The conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Oh, okay. Well, at least there's that. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Uh... <clears throat> I'm not going to go straight to Liara this time. That got me a whooping last time. Now, although I have more abilities and better and all that kind of stuff already this run through, I think I'm going to get a little bit more. Uh, Noveria or Pharaohs? I think we're going to start with Pharaohs. The colonists on Pharaohs might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Hmm. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? That's where Not Liara much. is. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Wow. 
Well, I guess we just go to our ship, huh? Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontaminate. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Captain find Shepard. Find Saren before he finds <laughs> the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Plus four on the Paragon. That's uh, the way off the ship if we choose to walk out into space. Come on, talk. Why can't I talk to him? Seriously? He won't let me talk to Presley. Okay. Whatever. Okay, nothing else in here. Yeah, we're going to have to write Presley up for that. Can't just ignore your commanding officer. What's going on in here? Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Okay. Codex. My doppelganger was standing down here one time. Oh, the captain's office. Well, this is my office now. Go to Codex. All right. So I guess I'm stuck with this gray outfit. Doesn't seem to be a closet or anything that I can use. 
Aha. All right. Take them all. people think that sending multiple invites will uh, will help okay lots to do here talk to Garris first thanks for bringing me on board commander I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Well, what if I wasn't done questioning you? All right. Talk to, uh, as Iceman Commander. puts it, Trashley. What's your opinion of the last mission? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. The Geth are perfect ambushers. They don't move, they don't make noise, they don't even breathe. They have flashlight heads, ma'am. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> um, okay. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Okay. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. All right, Ashley. Okay. We'll give, yes, install the upgrades. Uh, that's Krogan armor. Better assault rifle. Storm. Striker pistol. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the ones. We have an Avenger 2, so we're going to get rid of the 1. Get rid of the 1. 
Uh, we already have one of those, so we're going to get rid of it. Okay. Caden's locker. Oops. Oh. Oh, I'm getting the impression that uh, the weapons are shared. Oh. Rex. Oh, if I'd known that, I wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have dumped all of them yet. But I only dumped ones, so I mean, he has ones. I know I don't have any upgrades yet. Gotcha. Tally, which doesn't matter because there's nothing else to give her. Although, Rex. I could get. I don't think the Phoenix one is necessarily better. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I'm going to let him stick with that armor there. Okay, let's go talk to Rex. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Big deal? I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected, every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out, and most of us never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. All right. So we've done everything in here. <clears throat> What's all this then? Ok. 
Tally. Hey, Commander, you know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. <coughs> a month on board, and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarry. Oh yeah? The migrant fleet interesting is the stuff. survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. Seems like you can see her eyes but there. we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original... Seems like you can see her nose, too. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. Well, yeah, I mean, They're we're human. Being we just assume everyone looks like fit. us. They aren't <laughs> pretty, but they work, mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla, grow our own Has, food, mine, and Have their features been food. described in one of the books, maybe? But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Mm. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But he no might ship indeed. wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. I want to talk about something else. Like what? I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. 
Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in a group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. What made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. Hey, you can't blame them for fighting for their survival. We had no other choice. The Geth were already on the verge of revolution. By acting quickly, we had a chance to end the war before it began. The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond there. Now, we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. I should go. See you later. Okay. Garrus is still working on the Mako. Why Tally's not doing that? Okay, so that brings us to the point where we're going to go out into the galaxy, Pharaohs first, and start looking for Saren, or actually, well yeah, we're starting to look for Saren, but 
it's um, it's going to be Liara pretty soon. And here's where we'll do it. So, as I've said, uh, the um, the next stream. We'll open a new save for that. Okay, so the next stream is going to be uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Early stream, pre-day one stream. Uh, so we're going to stop playing Mass Effect uh, in order to play that. Once that's over, then we'll either come back to Mass Effect yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, now, <clears throat> depending on what's going on with Red Dead Redemption 2 when I finish Odyssey, we'll either move to Red Dead Redemption 2, which looks like a completely amazing game, or we'll come back to Mass Effect, one or the other. Um, and we'll just keep coming back to Mass Effect until we get it finished. Um, and... I have all the Mass Effects, so we're going to try and run through all of them eventually. So there you have it. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, have a good week. Start it off strong tomorrow. Wish me luck with my interview. And, um, and I guess we will see you all Tuesday. Have a great night. You too, Missy.